Lady Isabel Wayne is distraught when her beloved father dies suddenly in the earldom and all the property go to a distant relation, leaving her homeless and penniless. She is a beautiful and refined young woman who, for lack of other options, marries the lawyer Archibald Carlyle who buys her former home, East Lynn. Unfortunately his elder sister Cornelia also comes to live in East Lynn. She hates the marriage and, by taking over the household, makes Isabel's new life miserable. Mr. Carlyle is a very kind man, who had previously had a friendship with local lady Barbara Hare, who had hoped to marry him. This creates an opportunity for jealousy and misunderstanding. Isabel leaves her hard-working lawyer husband and their infant children to elope with him aristocratic but poor Captain Francis Levision. This is because she jealously suspects her husband's friendship with Barbara Hare. And Levision misleads her into a wrong interpretation of a meeting between them. However, once abroad with Levision, Isabel realizes he has no intention of marrying her. Despite her having born their illegitimate child, he deserts her. Uddharan Chene, her cousin. Lord Mount Seven comes to visit her in Europe and offers to support her. She finds out from him that her husband was not unfaithful. On the way back to England, there is a train accident. The baby is killed and Isabel, badly injured, is reported dead. Following this, Isabel is able, in disguise and under a new name, to take the position of governess in the household of her former husband and his new wife, Barbara Hare, allowing her to be close to her children. This situation becomes a source of great misery. However, as the little boy William dies of tuberculosis, Mr. Carlyle stands for Parliament, as does Sir Francis Levision, Isabel's seducer. It transpires that under the name Thorn. Levision had been guilty of the murder of Mr. Hallijohn, but Richard Hurray, the brother of Barbara, had been falsely accused of that murder and goes on the run. Uddharan Chene. When the facts eventually come to light, there is a hilarious and dramatic trial involving a fee Hallijohn as a reluctant witness. The pressure of keeping up a facade. A. G. Wearing blue glasses. Adopting a foreign accent and being constantly reminded that her husband has moved on eventually physically weakens Isabel. On her deathbed she tells all to Carlyle, who forgives her.